evil. Fear can't kill you, but... Alright. Anyways. I guess I was right here last time. Look around and see. Is there value in here? Yeah, there are some items in here. back outside, yeah. I don't want to go outside just yet. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to go this way. Come on. Okay. So I take the crank. nearby. Oh, that's right. That's that creature that Bear is talking about. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the thing that uh, you can't kill. And this thing, if it hits you, it hits you hard. You can incapacitate it, but you can't kill it. It'll come right back to life and get you in the butt at the end. Yeah, there's no reason to go back to the cabin anymore, so we can get out of here. Cabin gel. Time to leave. We're done here. Don't need to be here anymore. I'm um, gel. No, don't go. Don't go to the cabin. steps. Don't go up the steps. Go straight. No, Jill. No, I've told you a hundred times. Don't go that way. Don't go up the steps. Run towards me. There you go. Later. Thank <laughs> you. 
now. That's right, I used the crank here. There's a square shaped hole here. Well, Just a second, Joe, go back up. Is there something there? Okay, never mind, it's just the light. swimming around in the water. Hey, I got another battery. It's the next objective. Okay. Get away from me, you crazy crow. This will come in handy for those snakes. I just don't need the blue herbs right now. I do know that there should be an item box here. Perfect. 
where to start looking. I guess we can start here. Oh, perfect. Guessing that means room zero zero one. Oh boy, probably should not have peeked in there. Get off me, you little squirt. I'm fine. I haven't had enough, I see. Squisha, squisha. Come on, Jill. Squisha. Not doing that again. That's for sure. I know there is a way you can kill the bees in there. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? Yeah, I really get our kids. going on in there. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. There's more to this story than meets the eye. You all right? What's gotten into you? has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside and get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. All right, he steps out for some fresh air. We all know how this turns out. What do we have here? Jill, go get those documents, Jill. There we go. I have 
Okay, so if I remember correctly, we're going to be facing the plant monster at some point. I think I'm supposed to push him from the other side. So, I guess exit, I'll come right back. chest, my friend. Oh, I haven't had enough, I see. Of course, it's a one-time use, so I was put it to good use. Poor dude. We got the brunt end of things. And he just had to go hang himself. That's just sad, man. No bookcase. Literature and philosophy. That's nice. I'm willing to bet he's got something of value. We'll just leave this room temporarily. What in the world was that? Oh, I probably bet you he crashed off the uh, ceiling.
self-defense gun. Oh, I see. I think this item, the self-defense gun, I think is an instant kill. I'm not sure. I'll take a good look at it. Alright, yeah, 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 we already know. Oh yeah, now we're burning. That's one thing I never got the chance to do until now. Burn, suckers. Same with you. Yep, now those zombies will not come back to life. They are finished. Myself some more kerosene. Whew. Yeah, take that, spider. Yeah, that's a tough, are ya? <laughs> I wonder if I can burn the spider. Okay, I guess not. Well, I will admit that would be something if I did. Anyways, let's explore this room. Oh, there's a second spider over there. Get a better view. There's a spider here. Yeah. All right, spider, you're gonna get what you deserve. Yeah, I'm fine, good.
Oh, well, that's real nice. Although, I can do this, though. I just... That actually does have a meaning. But I have two more to light. I think it's also in relation to the game of pool that's up here. I think somewhere later. Hmm. I could probably go put the kerosene back. What was I thinking? Oh, and the ladder too, because I don't need those items anymore. shells. That's what I need. Come on. Hmm. What I'm saying there is... So it's orange, green, red. Hmm. Hmm. I just realized I could put a... Yeah, like I said, I don't need this many healing items. At least at this point, I don't. Hmm. 
Um, so where's this control room at? Handy. All right, I think I'm good here. Known better. Right. Jerk. Caution, but I'll be all right. Just has to be a way to push that bookshelf out of the way. Unless I have to push it. Other side. I have to get down there. It's just it. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Easy enough. This door is locked. Okay. Just leave that there for now. 
And now we get to the aqua ring. Gone, dudes. Don't mind me. Yeah, you missed, you stupid shark. If I remember correctly, if you play the scene with Chris and you save Richard, a bonus scene plays out. Get away from me, Sharky. now. This is very lengthy. No. Let's not press this thing as of yet. Oh yeah, I want the map. Okay, that's vital to draining the aqua ring. Press this thing as of yet. Like, I need more healing items, really. That's right, as long as... Yeah, that's right, I remember now. Alright. I think now I have no choice but to, uh... Piss off the sharks. Now we have no choice but to hit the switch. Gotta remember, it's valve number one. Oh boy, that pissed him off. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Oh yeah, and you have an extremely short amount of time to fix this. Christ. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Well, I guess this gives me meaning to us uh, sleeping with the fishes, because those sharks are pissed. Now will this work? I think I only get part of the way. Reaching 70% oh, Christ. Of oh, Christ. This is so not good. Well, this is going to be my very first death, I'll give it Oh, boy. Well. I think I was supposed to go up. Oh, there we go. 
That was a close one. That was really, really close. water now that the basement won't flood Oh yeah, much better. Licky, 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 licky. I think I'm gonna drain one of the herbs. I'll come back later for the grenade launchers. Or for the grenades. Not so tough, are you, shark? Yeah, not so tough, are ya? What about you, big guy? Hmm? What do you have to say? Hmm? Hmm? What do you have to say? That system's fried. Is there a map there too? I thought there was a map. I guess not. Now who places keys this so far out? So tough, are you, Shucky? Hmm? Not so tough, are you? Now that you're out of water. Alright. <sighs> I'll have to come back later for the other stuff.
Perfect. Oh, yeah. Although, I am curious blue. That's another room. Now that the water's drained. Let's go back and see what's over there. Oh, I can't. Unless I go all the way around. The water's drained. But yeah, I have to come back here because I gotta drop off some items. And it'll be an opportune time to save. first. shells. stairs.
Hey, you're not so tough, are you, sharks? Hmm? Now that you're not swimming anymore. Oh, that's the plant monster. Okay. Um, never mind. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to come back later because I don't have the right items right now. There's nothing else here either, so... Oh, there it is. Okay, I think it's a little late to, uh, have the map of the Aquaman because I pretty much have plotted out the whole place. So... So I guess it's time to leave. Of course, I'll have to come back later and take care of that plant monster.
perfect. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Besides a bunch of locked doors. And an extra magazine. Ah. Okay. Yeah, she's sick. But now she's fine. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Come on, squish him. Squish him. Yeah, squish him. Squish those little bees. Now get away from me! Yeah, squish him. Although, I think the knife makes things easier. Okay, the pesticide is over there. But you don't have the right ingredients. Oh no, that's an atomizer. Come on, squish him. Squish him. Yeah. Show those little buggies who's boss. Um, oh yeah, that's nice. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Get away from me, little. Oh, it's kind of funny that he, that he can actually kill a bee with a gun. I do admit that is kind of funny. Yeah, you're not so fast, are you, you little... I want to look at this first. Oh, yeah. Time to kill some buggies. still lurking about. How am I doing as far as ammo goes? I must have got plenty. I will take this red herb, though. Perfect. Dude's face. So swollen. That's what for my sake, he wasn't allergic to bee stings. Which is in of itself fatal. Perfect. I <laughs> nailed it on my first try. All right. More tech 
spreader ink like I need it. Fortunately, there's a typewriter here, so I can save. That's always nice. Another dagger. Oh. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Okay, so that's the chemical we need to destroy the plant. UMB number 20. BP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. Hmm. Okay, that's important for later. saved. In case something goes wrong. Oh, it's a one-way door. That's real lovely. That figures.
I'll just take him, never mind. What did it say about... You be number 20. B jolt. The VP and UMB. So I think it boils down to simple mathematics. If I am not mistaken. that you have oh looks like we got a oh boy it looks like I got a raiding party going on oh boy this is gonna be entertaining okay hello welcome to the stream how's it going and uh oh no I'm being raided what am I to do it's all good oh well, actually, yes, it is a bit of a blind playthrough. Although the funny thing of it is, I have played this game before and I've beaten it. This is my first time playing in a while. And I don't exactly remember how to do things, so you have to bear with me. Oh. Looks like you got a few friends that are joining uh, in the raid. Well, I ain't giving up my treasure, that's for sure. Okay, now, I'm just trying to remember how this all works out. Let me read the file one more time. It's towards the end. VP and UMB. Okay, I get that part. Um, I don't know what the water does. Okay, well. Nice. Of course, so here's my question to you. Who did you play with first? Did you play with Chris first or did you play with Jill first? agree with Jill it is much easier but the only downside with Jill is that I don't think she can take as many hits as Chris and plus another thing with uh, Jill is that she has music or she has a musical talent rather whereas with Chris you have to get Rebecca to play the Moonlight Sonata with you Chris is a little bit trickier than with Jill because he can't carry as many items but he is a lot tougher no offense Jill Hmm. I wonder. 
Yeah, that's. I think that's the other good thing about Jill is that she has lock picks. I don't know about Chris. I mean, I haven't played with Chris in ages. But I have to take a look at the file once, once more. Okay, because this is tricky. I think, I think the water axe is four. Hmm. Maybe I need ten and ten of each. Shoot. Well, I kind of okay, that went nowhere. Okay, so that works. I do know it said in some ratios. Maybe I should have had a fourth jar. So I guess I didn't need that fourth jar after all. Um, hmm. Well, not the smartest thing I've done, but I don't have much of a choice. All right, perfect. I know the math is a little weird in this game. See you in a bit. Hopefully by then I'll have this all figured out. I 
did it again. Gotta remember to find the water in red first. Then the yellow. There we go. Oh yeah, that did that didn't do anything. Alright. I gotta go back to my notes again. Okay, so now that I got number 10, what else do I need? Oh, I need 17 as well. So, BP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. Hmm. Now I gotta make number 17. <sighs> I probably should have had two oranges just in case something went wrong. I can always make one real quick. Okay, there we go. Doubt this is going to work. Perfect. Got what I want. Perfect. Well, I wonder if I could, uh. I don't need the bottles anymore. Alright, got what I want. Now I'm out of here. Perfect. Awesome sauce. Now let's go kill that plant. to destroy. Now, where do I place the chemical? I know there is a very specific route I have to place this. area. Hmm. Perfect. All right, good thing I saved. Again. That literally was a one-way door. Well, I guess we have to go back the old... Gotta take the long route, I guess. All the way to that crazy plant. Had I known this a long time ago, or earlier, this would have saved me a headache or three. Why settle for a headache or two? You can do a headache or three. Yeah, missed. Alright, you stupid plant. You're gonna get exactly what you deserve. Oh, you can't be serious. Let's get me out of healing items. Smack. Way before uh, entering this room. Oh, 
Christ. Okay, where am I supposed to use it then if I can't use it here? That's a good thing I saved just in case something went wrong. Okay. Gotta figure something else out. Outside of the fact that I wasted a lot of ammo on just one thing. Okay, she's in the yellow right now. Directly to the root. Hmm. Okay, that could be just about anywhere. So if the plant is in that room there, um. I mean, as far as I know, there should be. Unless there's another. Unless that stairway up? Saved. Yeah, you're dead, Jill. Sucker.
Well, certainly not down there, that goes to the aqua ring. Wait a minute. Right, I have to go all the Oh yeah, no, this is the right way. I have to go all the way around. That's right, the water's drained. here. Excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Unless I think you maybe... Okay, now let's see if we can take care of that plant boss. Okay, well, I think you have one problem. Now, let's take care of that goofball plant.
just in case something crazy happens. As if crazy things haven't already happened. Oh yeah. Plant monster go bye bye. Oh yeah. Jill's looking at it like, yeah, you ain't so tough now, are ya? Oh, you got one more trick up your sleeve, huh? What the hell is this thing? Barry! Jill! Uh. Hey, welcome back. You get the most exciting part of the game, uh. Strangulation by a plant. Come on, Barry, burn it. I'm actually playing on Windows, right? I on it was PC. Finished. Yeah. Inter interestingly, I also have this game on my GameCube, but it's stored that away. Was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Jill's probably thinking, what you like to know? Look what we finally got. The final key. I actually do admit here, for the for the masterpiece version of this game, I think it's way better than the GameCube remake. Mainly because of the controls. And I finally got the helmet key. It's time to leave this madhouse once and for all. First, let me talk to Barry. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. I think I'll stay here a little the GameCube bit. version was just a remake of the 1996 uh, PlayStation All right. game. It's just pretty much this, but with just the regular controls. It's not like the improved controls that you're seeing right now. Like, like for example, yeah, this would be a good place. Like, for example, if I were to hit up on the control, yeah, it makes you go up in that direction. But down? Oh, now we're going this direction. You get the picture. Yeah, surprisingly, for whatever reason, the GameCube uh, didn't do the remake and didn't do the uh, controls uh, like this, but whatever. Is there anything else uh, I need? Nope. Like I said, it's time for me to get out of this nut house. Start. You know what's funny is that when I first saw this game, I was a little skeptical, thinking, okay, is this going to be just the GameCube version itself on Steam, or is it going to be an actual remaster? And sure enough, it was a. Uh, Wesker. It was just a GameCube game with the. Uh, oh, listen, to this scene. This scene's really good. So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice, Barry? Sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Wait, there are two mansions? Never mind. When Jill said the other mansion, I'm thinking, wait, there's two of them? I only know there's only one, and that's owned by Umbrella. Hmm. Kind of strange she'd say that. But speaking of strange, uh, Albert's not exactly, uh, acting rational either. But we'll, but we'll get to that later. Oh, I think he gets way worse in the... Uh, I think there's one or two other games where he's much, much worse. Unless I think... I need to take anything out of here before... Uh, 
Where are we going? Nope. Not going any further. Oh, I never got the chance to play Resident Evil 5. I heard Resident Evil 5 was a bit of a mixed bag. Kind of like with 6. And I think there was other ones as well. There was... Oh, there's a ton of Resident Evil games. I know there was Umbrella Chronicles. But I heard that was horrible. Um... I better take the shotgun with. Well, actually, I can do this instead. Hmm. It's kind of interesting you say that. And I think from what I understand, Resident Evil... Ah, uh, I'm good, but thanks. Thanks for the offer, though. And plus, what's interesting, I think Resident Evil 5 is the only one that's garnered controversy. As far as I know. Is there anything else? I don't believe I do. I mean, I'm playing equipped. Although it's interesting, speaking of Resident Evil games, I, when I played Resident Evil 2, I was a little surprised that, uh, it went in a completely different direction and played more like a third-person shooter than a uh, traditional Resident Evil game. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Resident Evil 6 I heard was horrible. But I heard 7 was pretty good. I mean, I haven't played Resident Evil 7, mind you. And plus I heard if you play Resident Evil 7 in VR mode, it's even creepier. But that's just speculation. I did hear about Resident Evil 3 Remake. Now that's the next Resident Evil game I'm looking forward to. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This I cannot wait for the Resident Evil 3 Remake. But the question is, you, it's not a matter Over. of when it's, they're going to do it. It's a matter of Stars if. Alpha. Here's Brad. a sign for you. you Are you me? deaf? Brad. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Brad, Brad get a hearing aid, you idiot. Broken. No, the radio's not broken. It's it. Brad can't hear. Like, what do you mean, like... Make it more like a traditional Resident Evil game, or make it more like a, uh... Or make it more like a third-person shooter kind of game. Kind of like what they did with the second one. Bad doggy! Oh, the traditional camera. Yeah, in one aspect, I will agree that, uh... That the traditional camera is a little weird, and a lot of people were skeptical about it. But, but on the but on the other side of the coin, it also creates more suspense. Whereas if, oh, hold on, what's this say? Hmm, interesting. Now, what was I saying? Oh yes, the only reason why I like this kind of camera angle is because. It creates more suspense, whereas if the camera's directly behind the character and an enemy approaches you, it kind of takes some of the suspense, suspense away. Oh boy. The good news is I did save. The bad news is I don't have any blue herbs. So I guess the camera system in, this, in these games is kind of a bit of a double-edged sword. Either you love them or you hate them. I thought I saw some blue herbs around here somewhere. Oh boy, something tells me I am not going to last. Although the first aid spray did help. What about the next? Oh, that's right, I gotta go back to the mansion and, uh, start unlocking doors once again. Woohoo! 
now that I have the helmet key. About time. Oh, more goods. Let's see, what's the note say on this one now? All the acid shells. Let's see, what's this say? Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing in chains. I went ahead and fixed that piece. Craft door too, Barry. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's that door that was broken. And I can always use another first aid spray if I have to. Yeah, I don't have to go back to the cabin anymore. What I do have to do now is, uh... Try and hope this poison doesn't kill me first. Oh yeah, I gotta use another first aid spray once more because I have to get this back. Why do they say crest in one scene and the next scene they call it a stone metal object? Doesn't make any sense. Anyways. Those stupid snakes gotta give me a bit of a headache. Well, I gotta take some uh, anti venom. Uh oh. Something's coming. How's it going, dudes? Oh, yeah, that, that's. Oh, boy. Oh wait, I can go this way. That's a good thing I kept the shotgun handy. Because using the grenade launcher in such close quarters is risky. Yeah? You want a piece of me, tough guy? Yeah, get up. Twit. Not you, this. Not you viewers, that lizard thing. Shells away for now, and I can get my blue herb. Ah, oh, yeah, much, much better. Is this the liquor? I don't remember if the liquor enters the mansion or not. After you take the emblem out. Speaking of that emblem, the doorknob has been repaired. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Not 100% sure? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. and then going around. Jill, get up the stairs, you. Start unlocking doors. Let's see what do we got here? It's not dated. What do we got? Secret, okay. 
So I guess you really can't play this sort of thing out of order. Okay. There is a secret. But the question is, what is that secret? More ink ribbon? Really? Like I need more of that. There's some kind of internal organ inside. You can't tell whether it came from a human or animal. And probably best if you didn't know. Just saying. Oh, this room always threw me off because I was like, okay, am I over there or am I on the other side? Uh, no thanks. No thank you. I'm good. Oh, another one of these stupid jewelry boxes? Oh, great. Except this one's more aggravating than the last one. Let's see here. Okay, so you need another item. Oh, come on, this game's not that scary. I mean, there are way, way scarier games than this. I mean, it's kind of funny that sometimes a jump scare, some people just overreact. Like, okay, okay, it causes your heart rate to go up a little bit, and you might be a little bit more exhausted, but if it literally scares the bejesus out of you... Outlast 2 today. Hmm, never played Outlast. Wait a minute. Now why, is, now why is the first floor red all of a sudden? What item did I miss? Oh no, that's right. I think it's that emblem I put on there. That's right. Alright, um... Let's see, where to next? Hmm. I can always go back to the garden and make another green herb. Yeah, don't play it when you're having a weak heart. Oh, kind of like... Oh, so basically what you're trying to say is don't play Outcast Outlast 2 because you'll probably end up either going to cardiac arrest or you'll get a heart attack. Of course, uh... Of course, I've played a lot of horror games before, so I don't think really anything surprises me anymore. <laughs> Heart attack simulator? I would not want to see that on Steam anytime soon. Trust me on this one. Unless it's a CPR simulator then. Okay, I can totally see where we're going here. Whew. Yeah, there's one room here I still have some unfinished business from.
So I wonder what I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do in here. Well, I do want to take a look at that statue. and yet so very, very, very far. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. What now? Whoops. What's this now? Eagle of South, Wolf of North? Okay, where are we going with this? Well, okay, this is going to be the dumbest thing I've ever done. Why use a healing item at full health just to make one extra space? Last book, volume one. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. What can the words on the cover mean? Poor George. I, mean, I feel sorry for the guy, but uh, oh no, you don't. Yeah, you stay down, spider. Yeah, stay down. shells. Go figure. Oh my god. Gotcha. One shot, buddy. Yeah, better luck next time. So since when am I streaming? Um, I've been streaming since 10 o'clock this morning, Central Standard Time. Hmm. 
I mean, in general. Oh, since. Oh, I started last June. June of 2018. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to leave the bluer behind. More items over here. Oh, good. The elevator's back online. Well, it's well, it's just a little bit of being at the right place at the right time and playing the right game. I mean, because I know a lot of games like Counter Strike, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Apex, and Fortnite. I've seen one first. I think some people have played that game only once, and they managed to get like fifteen, twenty thousand views in a single stream. I'm like. Yeah, words can't describe it. But like I said, it all just boils down... Get out of my way, jerk. Yeah, take that. Oh, wait, I have my shotgun. What am I, what am I wasting my handgun for? Yeah, get up. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, not so tough, are ya? <laughs> are ya? Oh, looks like it tore the door handle off that thing. I don't know I'm going on a separate hallway. No, you did rip the door off. Well, whatever works. I'm just going to do two more things here. One, i got to put an item away. Secondly, I'm going to have to go back and get that blue herb because I really want to mix herbs. Surprisingly, I'm more active on Twitch. I haven't been on YouTube as of late. Well, because I've had a lot of things going on, which is personal, and I don't like to discuss personal things. Of course, you understand. Uh, oh, yeah. Put the handgun away for now. I, mean, I would really love to get back on YouTube, but uh, but yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on. As of late, none. Unfortunately, I haven't been very active in making my videos. And the sucky thing of it is that it's too bad I'm not making this a career. That's the sucky thing. I mean. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be dragging you into my personal affairs. Okay, I have three more herbs, but I don't want to... Let me just take care of one more thing. Let me get that last blue herb. I'll make the ultimate herb, as I like to call it. And we're going to call it a day. Just take care of that real quick, provided uh, no more lizard dudes show up. I know. But I think, the, but like I said, it boils down to several factors. One is the game itself. Another is the time of day you're playing. I know there's a lot more, uh, I know there's a lot more active people during the day than there are at night. Because I've tried streaming at night before, and I haven't had as much luck. What else is there? Oh, yes, I think it also depends on where you're streaming from. Because I know, yeah, luck is the big thing right there.
don't need to be here anymore, do I? What other item am I missing? <sighs> yeah, that is true. Uh, yeah, that is true. It is true that, uh... I think it also just boils down to the native tongue, too. Because, I mean, if I was a little more fluent in France and I was streaming from France... I could probably get a lot more French viewers, but that's just my theory. What item am I missing? Oh, there it is. Streaming on German didn't work out. <laughs> and don't worry if you uh, don't worry about uh, typos or anything. Or I'm not gonna, I'm not that judgmental. I mean, it doesn't matter how you say something as long as it makes sense. All right. All right. Now that I got what I want, let's, let's wrap this up. Can only access it from the basement. But I'm not gonna go into the elevator at this point yet. I guess I just have for me to wrap this up, and I still can't believe that lizard dude just ripped that door off its hinges. And that was a gosh darn good door too. Oh you oh you're lucky you got the affiliate status status. Well, I wish I could have that. But like I said before, it just boils down to luck. All right. Yeah, thanks for the words of encouragement. I feel touched by it, but... But I think this is where we're going to stop for today. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you for those who joined me in the chat. I will see everybody next time.